Hey guys, Ellen Woodbridge here, Independent Stampin' Up! Demonstrator in Australia. I hope you had an amazing weekend. I've just come off a three-day weekend, so uh, sort of back into the swing of things today, bringing you this video. I've done a bit of work this morning. Hey, Andre. Um, just some sending out catalogues and sending out a few bits and bobs. Um, and I have had this card in my brain all weekend while I've been tidying and organising my space ready for the new catalogue items to arrive. So they have been shipped this morning. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to put whatever that was on. Hang on, let me get rid of that. No, how do I get rid of that? Hmm. No, I want nothing. There we go. No! Oh, I broke it. They broke it again, people. They, I was going to say stamp enough have broken it, but Facebook have broken it. So when I try and flick, no, there we go. Screen flipped. Right. Oh, I was having a moment. I stuck some things back on my wall and the one right up the top there that says... Uh, my happy place was a beautiful birthday gift back in December. So I've added things to my wall. I've cleaned up, decluttered, reorganized my space, um, ready for all the new catalog goodies. But since I don't have them in my hand yet, I'm making do. Oh, that's awesome, Margaret. I'm so glad. I'm making do with what I've got. And I did say in the description, this is going to be Harry Potter card. I, our family's just a little Harry Potter obsessed. And I'm going to use the feather in Tasteful Touches. I've been thinking, what are other ways I can use this feather? Because I've seen so many beautiful cards. And I'm going to make a snitch. Um, I didn't bring in my Pandora bracelet. But I do have a snitch. Um, closure on my Pandora bracelet and it's sort of been running through my brain how can I do that and I do have a Harry Potter stamp I have a couple of Harry Potter stamp sets that are non stamping up so I'll never show them to you um, here on my videos because this is my business page but I do um, use them often to make uh, family members cards so I'm going to use this. I am going to use, I've been, I, the sentiment I was going to use, I was going to make it up using the Make a Different stamp set because the sort of tagline for the snitch in Harry Potter is I open at the close. Um, so that's in the box that the snitch and the quaffles are in. Um, so yeah, but I've got, um, I was going through my sentiments with David because he's got a day off today, a nice five day long weekend for him. And there's a sentiment in Well Said that just says, time for a new adventure. And I thought that would work perfectly. So I'm aiming to make... Harry Potter card using two Stampin' Up! sets that are non-Harry Potter related. And I've got out the colours Bumblebee and Merry Merlot, which are Gryffindor colours. I'm not a Gryffindor, I'm a Hufflepuff, but I've gone with Gryffindor colours. So if you're not a Harry Potter fan, I do apologise. I just wanted to show a different way to use a Tasteful Touches set. Now that I've done all that waffling and explaining myself, welcome. If you are watching on replay, please comment. If you are watching on YouTube and you don't already subscribe to my channel, please subscribe. I'm trying to get to a thousand followers on YouTube so I'm able to offer live videos on YouTube and here on Facebook but I need a thousand subscribers and I'm not there yet I'm about I think I'm nearly at 600 so I'm over halfway but I'm not there so I would love it if you guys could even if you haven't subscribed and you're watching 
would pop over. I'm just Ellen Woodbridge on YouTube, nice and easy to find, and subscribe to me so I can I can facilitate both my followers. At the moment, I can only post videos but not do lives over there. So flick us around and turn off my light and do all of those things that oop, that was my charger that I always do for you guys so please tell me you all had a lovely weekend seems like a distant memory and it's only Tuesday but anyway oh thank you to whoever popped over there and has already subscribed i appreciate it okay let's see here line us up get me up on my other device here i'm going to turn off i really don't feel like i'm straight hang on i've got a yeah, I'll wait and see if I'm straight. I can always change it just a touch. No, I'm not. Just hold on, I'll turn off my light and I'll jiggle. Because I also don't want you seeing down my crutch. Or down my top. Oh no, Jamie, it's because you had a three-day weekend. But that's not good. Rest, hang out with me. I'll get up my comments here and see who's coming. I know Mr. Andre came in from across the ditch. He's a very happy boy today because all restrictions have been lifted in New Zealand except for people coming into the country. So I know he's happy to get out and about. Hey Deb, hey Tracy, hey Carol, hey Christy. Yes, I'm back, Deb. Both Debs are here. I'm so glad you're catching me live for the first time, Margaret. Welcome. Hey, Sheila. Hey, Roz. Joe. Cindy. <sighs> Who? Oh, Donna. I'm glad you all get my Harry Potter obsession. Hey, Nairi. And Linda. And who did I just get there? Marjean and Tracy. Oh, thank you, Tracy. I do appreciate that you guys, many of you are already subscribed. So I do appreciate that. So, Jamie, I'm going to do some embossing. Please don't fall over. Just don't fall over. I'm going to do some embossing. I've got some gold embossing powder because it is called the Golden Snitch for a reason. Um, so I've got out my vellum scraps. I've got out Bumblebee, which is our new yellow, and Merry Merlot. But I'm going to pop these two to the side. Although I'm creating a lovely... David, can I have the four-foot table? Thanks. Okay, so some scraps of vellum. Ooh, that one I'll be able to get one feather out of. And this one I will get the other with some scrap left over. I just need somewhere to put these. Harry Potter's the bomb. Thank you girls for checking. You've already subscribed. So tasteful touches. We're only going to use the feather. Now this feather is really, really beautifully detailed. So I will be very interested to see how it um, how it embosses. Thank you. Okay. Right, we have the table up so I can put my paper on the table beside me because with all my setup here on my laptop, I lose all my desk space. Okay. Hey, Pamela. I know, fancy seeing you here, Cheryl. I swear I just saw you. Um, well said stamp set can just go up here for the moment. I'll put tasteful touches here. And the first thing we're going to do is emboss. So in my cleaning up, I have very easy access to my embossing things. Now, I am aware that the embossing buddy is no longer available. 
but I highly recommend them. Okay, it's a powder, especially with vellum, that just, oh, I didn't get my heat tool ready, um, that just reduces static. Okay, um, do I have a piece of paper? No, I don't. Can I grab one? Absolutely. And a piece of paper out of recycling would be even better because it was only going to go in the bin anyway. I could do wing oh yeah, but I don't have a key stamp or a key die. So I can't do winged keys, but yes, that is also a really good um, thing to do. I wish I had wing I wish I had keys, but I don't. Should have possibly gone to the toilet before I got on live. I know you girls really didn't need to know that, but hey, real life here, real life. I don't know if I flipped that over and getting the paper. So I have my big tray here. Now, although I don't think I'll use my tray, I think I might just use scrap paper. Um, my verse mark ink. So we're just going to use verse mark. Yes, it does. It does. It gets rid of your fingerprints. And I've moisturised my hands this morning. So I'm feeling incredibly dry. So I've just given that a really nice ink up. It doesn't look like, actually, I don't think I need this piece at all. I think this piece is more than enough that has stamped beautifully I know you can't see it but just trust me and we're going to do some hand cutting I can't get away with it I don't have any dies for this so hand cutting it is so this is gold embossing powder it's got lots of little bits and debris in it but it still works really, really well. Okay, so we can see that is nicely covered. I've got a bit of a halo up there, but I'm not worried because I'm hand cutting these out. I'm going to keep this to the side because I may just emboss my sentiment. Uh, we shall see, but I assume I will. Now, because I hate stray bits of powder, and I can already feel how powdery it was from the embossing buddy, I'll get rid of those and just roll over here. I've even turned on my heat tool. Let's warm this up. So, especially with vellum, you want it pre-warmed because vellum is really, really easy to um, melt. So, you want to keep it moving until... So, me keeping it moving is like pre-warming it. So then when it does start to melt and emboss, it moves really, really quickly. So you can see how quickly that moves on the vellum compared to cardstock. So that is that already done. Now, I'm thinking of using my one... And a quarter. Sorry, I actually have to stand up. My one and a quarter inch. No, that's one and a half. I think. Hmm. I'm just. I'm just seeing. 
might grab out some dies. Hey Lorraine, hey Elizabeth, ta-da magic. The vellum is so thick and you have a lot less risk of, um, of burning the vellum because it is that thick cardstock weight. Okay, dies. The one and a half circle punch is just a touch too big. So we're going to look through here. Um, the tasteful labels, I just don't like the air. Hmm. Maybe, maybe that one. Well, little pinked one. Yeah, and I'll emboss it. So that's the matching tasteful label set. So didn't think I'd use a matching set. The other thing that will work really nicely is the stitch shapes. Uh, this one would work, but hey, if we've got a circle in our matching one, let's use it. Hey, Shireen, how are you? Now, I did see Alana stop in too. Hey, Shannon. Hey, Kathy. Yes. Jamie, 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 so right about the Stampin' Up! vellum. So, I am going, now I've grabbed this tasteful label, I'm going to grab a scrap of gold foil. Now, I'm thinking we might also emboss it as well. So, let's... This piece in here that's already very heavily been used might just work perfectly. Look at that. Perfect. Now, embossing folders. I'm thinking because it is actually, it has a design on it, that I'd have a look. Don't think the tin tile will work. Tasteful texture, which goes with this set work. Brick won't work. That's actually retired, I think. Is that retired? Can someone tell me? Um, don't think subtle will work. Floral won't work. Mm. Thinking the tasteful texture. And we're pretty much using the whole suite. Which is pretty cool. Okay, let's get the die cutting. So it's going to be a simple card. It's just got a few elements on it that are a bit special. And who doesn't love a bit of shimmer and shine on a card? Yes! That's why I keep, I normally don't keep really small scraps of my normal cardstock, but I will of my specialty paper. Oh, can you see that? Have a look at that embossed edge. That is beautiful. Love that. So glad we use that. And it's not very, it's just a wiggly edge. It's nothing too dramatic. Now, only because I have my other one pretty much set up to emboss. Note I say pretty much. Now, we don't need one of those. I think we just need a normal one. We shall see. I get all confused. Okay. Pop this in. So this one is the one that looks like watercolour paper. It's got that texture. As always, I put the spine in first. So not to stress the folder. And no, I definitely need the blue one. I think I've got any small heart dies at the moment. Jamie? Hmm. Okay. Okay, so 
we can see now oh, the lovely texture that that embossing folder just gave. So it just makes it special um, rather than because the actual snitch has texture in it. Now I'm going to grab my sprung scissors. Now that this is called, this was called ages ago. I could absolutely. That's what I've got my cropper dial for. So I'm not going to be particular about the edges, but I'm just going to do a wavy line all the way along, go in at the divots, just make certain, because if you do a straight line, it looks a bit, how's it going, where if you go in at where the feathers cut away it just looks like even though oh cut that excess off will make my life so much easier so sort of go in and out in and out a bit of a wavy line where I can it just makes it look like you've put in a whole lot of effort and I really haven't. I've been quite quick and not particular with it. As I said, the end is going to go underneath, so I'm not going to be particular about that. Now, this end has ink on it, so that is now going to go in the bin because I've used up my scrap very well. Yes, exactly, and because it isn't just a snitch, it's a golden snitch, the embossing just makes it. And you could use, look, I just happen to be making a golden snitch, but these uh, leaves would look beautiful in the silver. They'd even look lovely in white. We'll see, I miss the wiggly bits there. And it doesn't quite look as good. And I move the vellum to do the wiggles. I don't actually move my scissors. I don't know if anyone's noticing that. This bit is going to go in the bin because I have lots of vellum scraps. I know some people, Denise, keep uh, really small ones, but I can't. It does my head in and it stuffs up on my storage. My storage containers get too, um, get too full and they bust, don't they, Jamie? Which is why I now have a vellum scraps container. So that is that done. Oh, yes. Oh, my God. Hedwig. Hmm. Trying to think how I do Hedwig. But my only issue is I'd really like two feathers that are opposite, but I can't do that. So one feather is going up and one's going down, but it doesn't look as bad as what I thought it would. I thought it would look much, much worse but I like that and I shouldn't say worse I didn't think it would look as good as what it's currently looking so I'm going to use blue dots because we've got vellum we've got the backing on our foil is very particular with blue so I sort of want it to look like it's in flight so I think maybe the feathers going the opposite way are a good thing. So just putting that on the edge and you do see most of, most of the feather. So I really haven't um, covered up much of it. And I right now I have, I'm up to a brand new packet. I finished all the backings 
of a packet today. I love opening a brand new pack of dimensionals. It's like a whole new beginning. Yes. Oh no, I could do forks too, Jamie. The kids would love it if I did forks. Okay, I am going to use three because I've covered up and secured both ends there. And just to make it so it's even, I'm going to pop one at the bottom. I know most people may think that's overkill, but I do not. So because this is vellum, I am going to bend these feathers just a little bit to give them flight. Okay, so now, um, look at that, so pretty, I'm loving it. Okay, colours, colours, colours. So I'm thinking of, oops, a Mary Merlo card base. Is that a, ooh. Mary Merlot card base because this is the perfect Gryffindor colour. Even though, as I said, I'm not Gryffindor, I'm a Hufflepuff. I did the test only recently, considering I read the Harry Potter books, I don't know, about 20 years ago. My dear stepdaughter was reading them and went, Ellen, you should read this. And then we got David into it. Well, that cost us. A small fortune because David needed the audio books so we bought the and back then it was um, the CDs that we still have yes 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 exactly Jamie so I'm going I'm thinking that I could stamp now tell me if what you think I should do I can stamp this card base either in Versamark just to show the flight of the feathers, like show where it's come from. I'll show you. I just want to cover the background in Versamark feathers because I don't have Bumblebee ink yet. It's on its way. It's out of the warehouse. Okay, Versamark. So this will just be a watermark look. Hello, Jill. Thank you so much. Look at the ideas coming thick and fast for these feathers. All I gave you was Harry Potter and you're all just going for it. Now, this will look like nothing until the Versamark ink dries. Okay. Now, I'm being totally random with this and if they don't stamp perfectly it won't matter now i could clear emboss this as well but i'm not going to hey jacqueline thanks for joining uh, i'm trying to be as random as what i can be and it's actually really really hard to see and you know you look as though like it looks to you girls like I'm stamping in thin air it's almost like that for me now just got a teeny bit there and I've got a teeny bit there. This is so faint. I'm hoping it dries. It's starting to darken up a bit. Just a bit. Hopefully it dries because it's such a... Tell me if you're seeing that or if I should... I'll let it dry a bit more. Now, I'm thinking maybe... I just stamp on, hmm, I'm thinking of stamping maybe straight in Merry Merlot across there. And then if it doesn't work out, I can cover it up. Ooh, oh, no, that's okay. No, 
I do that all the time, Jacqueline. All the time. Like I go, yep, I've replied to that. And go, I haven't got a reply. And it's because I didn't press send. You can see it. Awesome. It's very, very faint, but it's it's there. It's just a really nice, um, not that the snitch feathers fall out at all. Mm. I'm just thinking. I almost want to add another. Mm. <laughs> I have this piece pre-prepared. It was just sitting in there. But I'm thinking like a smaller piece, like cutting it down. I'm going to cut it down and see what happens. So, this is an even flat. So we've just done 10. If I go seven and a half, so that's two and a half centimetres. That leaves me a sentiment strip. Two and a half. So if we go one, two and a half. So that's 13.3 and a smidge. Or I don't know if I went far enough. So it's one, two and a half. Yeah. I think I may have to take another half a centimetre off. I'm not sure. That works. And what I would want to do again is stamp this in, stamp the feathers. These may actually come up better on the Merry Merle than what they did on the Bumblebee. Just because it is, yeah, they're coming up much better. So they're very, very subtle on the Bumblebee, but on the Merry Merle, they're coming up much better. Okay, yeah, I need one coming on the top here, one coming up the bottom there, and I think I want an edge. Let me see, that's good. Now, you, even though this ink isn't dry yet, you should be able to see that much clearer. I know, wink. Wink splinters, wink splatters. Ooh, I like that, Jay. I like where you're going. But I just want to get my basic layout first and then I'll go with all that embellishment. I wonder if I still have. Ah, I like that. And I'm thinking if I stamp the sentiment, keep it really simple and keep the gold focus on the, the snitch. And if I get a strip of bumblebee, hopefully one doesn't exist. I need to stop shoving my hands in here. I can hear Jamie yelling at me. So I have... That piece that's pretty much the right length, yeah, that's probably a bit short. This one, yeah, I'll grab out a few pieces and we'll see how we go. So that's probably about as wide as what I have them, about, I don't know, ju that's just under three quarters of an inch. So sentiment the well said stamp said and i said time for a new adventure i could i could but do you know what 
I'm probably not going to. I could also just mat it, um, mat a piece. I'd probably just mat a piece in gold foil. Um, where is time for a new adventure is right here. And pop that there. And my tip, as always, is to use an oversized block. So then I will show you exactly why. So then I can see the edges and line it up better. Not perfectly, better. So whoop, 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 that's on the floor. No, I'm not, Cindy. I'm just going to do it in Merry Merlot because I like just the, the feature of the golden snitch. It would look beautiful gold embossed, but I'm going to leave it in just a Merry Merlot. I am thinking of using like a gold mat though. So don't worry. I am thinking of adding some gold in another way. Let's see if I've stamped this straight. I have, but I am going to stamp it a second time just to see. I like the first one better. Eh, I think they're both slightly crooked, but I mean, going by on a horse wouldn't notice. Or whatever that saying is. Yeah, I think a gold mat will bring it all together, but I do just like the simplicity of, and I'm thinking a gold mat on this, on the between the Merry Merlot and the, um, may even look nice under this, we'll see. We shall see. Okay, stamp sets are getting in the way. This can go away. Trimmer in. Now, I'm using my big trimmer as opposed to my little one because I will show you why. There are these, these um, ridges and troughs here are actually meant to secure your arm, but they are great for butting up your skinnier pieces of paper. I'm going to see which one's better. They both are crooked, but you know, I think the first one's better. I went a little, yeah, but that one's really crooked. That one will just work, okay. I could have also used a classic label punch. Do you know what? That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to re-stamp it. And use the classic, uh, excuse my froggy throat, and use the classic label punch. Because then that way it'll be straight and I'll be happy. <gasps> I know, I love me some Harry Potter too, Misty. I told you I was going to do a golden snitch and I have totally knocked this. I'm hoping this fits in the classic label. That's even a better stamping. I think I just got that bit more pressure on it. Okay, classic label is right in front of me. I know, but I'm a hub full puff, but I'm doing it in Gryffindor colours. And the bumblebee is like the perfect. No! Oh. Oh. I think it just works. Can't even pick it up. That's why I have my take your pick tool. Putty end, pick it up. 
yes that works we've matted with a bit of gold and I think we're awesome I know I had to ow yes I did just get my skin there okay so mat this and mat that in gold and I think we're pretty much done okay let's 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 see my scraps of gold I'm thinking this one just here will be perfect and I appear to have a large one there look at that look at me using my scraps okay so how does this one work oh, that one works beautifully I like that and I am going to pop it on some mini dimensionals and then put it directly on the card from there because the big dimensionals are just a tinch too big for the classic label but the mini ones are absolutely perfect yes please Shelley just let me blog it first which will probably be tomorrow night oh that would be good because I do know I don't know anyone who's tested a Slytherin, although my girlfriend and I were talking and one of the people she works with tested a Slytherin and I don't know whether that's a good thing or not. Hey Judy, oh you're Irene, you're tagging Judy. Fantastic, thank you. I hope they enjoy it too. I'm just seeing if I missed any comments. Ah, cool. No, not a problem, Denise. I hope your boy was good tonight. Been good for his amazing mum and dad. Talking about Denise's grandson here. So. Mm, that is not straight. Lucky I didn't really push it here this down well. It was just tacked. Right. Now, I am going to be really, really bold for the person who can't cut a straight line. And I really can't cut a straight line. But that will do. So look at that. That's beautiful. And now, because this is a scrap, I'm not going to cut out the middle or anything like that. But I am just going to. And I will still keep the scrap. But I'm going to use my fast fuse. Cannot wait for seal to be available in Australia oh fair enough Shelley fair enough well please share with me what you make I reckon the Slytherin colours will look really nice because all the house colours are very regal They, because what's Slytherin green and black so that would be like shaded spruce and black. That would look really, really nice. Okay, I am going to bring in my mini trimmer for this one. I find the mini trimmer cuts foil a little better. I think it's, I don't know what it is. I just like how it cuts Okay. Perfect. Pop these all back in my scraps. 
this is coming oh i only had a part idea hello miss allison oh a hint of silver slytherin yes shelly that'd be great and i wonder if you could do like bow baton like the overseas schools as well that'd look good Although, is bow bat on pink or purple or is that just the dresses that they were wearing that I'm thinking of? Look at us and our Harry Potter knowledge. Oh, <laughs> Angel Jolisard, how are you? I'm glad you're watching. Oh, he is the cutest little man, Jamie. Okay, just wiggling this into place. Now this also, this is very, very subtle, but I'll show you. I have stamped the feather in the background. So glad. I was not buying this stamp set, girls, but I'm so glad I've done it. And I have been able to create. Oh, look at that. So classy. Hello, Doreen. Thank you for joining. Just finishing up my golden snitch card. I've done a bit of heat embossing. I've used foil. And I've really, been, besides using a touch of Merry Merlot ink, I've only used Versamark. Versamark ink pads are so versatile because you can emboss with them like I did with the feathers, but you can also create this really subtle, please excuse David coughing in the background, who's lying in bed reading a book because he's got the day off work. So while the children aren't around, taking some rest and relaxation time. Bought him a coffee. We went out this morning. Oh, yes. So it does have dyes. And I used, to make the snitch, I used this smallest of the round dyes. So this is the tasteful labels. Yeah, the dyes are great. But I've only used a couple. So I'm not going to put any adhesive at all behind the feathers. Although I could use glue dots because there is so much embossed um, space. I um, can use it. Um, I've chosen not to. I want that floaty feature. Now I'm going to put my golden snitch down first. And then pop my um, sentiment down. I spat on my card. Charming, hey. And I've used the matching Tasteful Touches um, embossing folder to emboss the snitch. I can sort of move because I've that's perfect. So they're pretty much even. That's good. Now for the sentiment that I will just... Oh, look at that. Perfect. I'm just going to use not much adhesive. And I'm going to make sure it's behind the label because I find uh, that wet adhesive often buckles foil. So if I put it behind Mind. hopefully you won't see it and that's a card done so we've used embossing die cutting heat embossing and dry embossing we've used our watermark so we've used versamark we also used the tasteful labels dies I have used just one set of the well said stamp set so I use the inside for the well said and I have used Mary Merlot I also used the classic label die and gold embossing powder 
so I will um, post some more details um, of the individual products I used thank you as I said I had it in my head it's like it's like I want to put it on the wall it's great I just want to go play Quidditch now could you imagine me on a broomstick oh my god that'd be so funny hey Trina um, they only have three houses they do only no they've got four Hufflepuff, Ravenclaw, Slytherin and Gryffindor They've got four houses. Ravenclaw too. Yes. Yeah, it was just something that was in my head that I had to get out. So I thought I'll share it with you. So thank you for joining. I'll just pop this in a little more so you can see what I've used. But the oh, and I used the Tasteful Textures embossing folder. So the tasteful texture embossing folder. So yeah, can't forget that. But these are in a bundle and you can get the bundle free uh, by joining my Wicker Woodies team this month. Oh, I know, Jill, I would absolutely have to fasten my seatbelt. I think I'd need a harness, but I don't think you can harness yourself to a broomstick. I don't think that'd work. Hey, Jenny Turnbull. Haven't seen you in a while. I was thinking about you yesterday. Your brain must have... We must have been in sync. Thank you, Carol. Now, girls, um, I'll be back later in the week. Don't know what we're making later in the week, but I will be back. I'm off to probably make another card. I've got an in-colour card in my brain that I want to um, that needs to come out so have a wonderful start to your week I will see you at the end of the week yes just go to broom school I need um oh what's the teacher's name oh my god professor no professor McGonagall doesn't teach that or does she I can't think who does that? Yes. Yes. I need to go up. I don't know. I can't even get the devices in my house to work. So I don't know how a broomstick's going to obey what I say when Google and Alexa and everything else in my house don't listen. So, yeah. No, not boring at all. I came across an envelope and your address was on it. And I thought, oh, yes, I must put that address in my um, birthday list. So you're officially added. This was part of my cleaning up on the weekend. Professor Hooch. That's right, Ruth. That's right. No, no, Snape did um, potions. He was a potions teacher. And Professor Trelawney was divination. Yes, I know these stories very, very well. No, I just did this all live, Rhonda. It just came out of my head. There is no sample. This is my one and only card. Yes. Lovely to chat with you girls. I enjoyed our Harry Potter conversation. Keep going and I'll reply. Um, I will also go back and see if I missed any comments that I need to answer. So have an amazing evening or afternoon wherever you are or morning if you're watching on the replay. And please subscribe to my YouTube if you haven't. Yes, absolutely want to be Defence Against the Dark Arts. There's 12 days at this stage. Okay, no problems. No problems. Please tell us how you go. Thank you, Rhonda. Thank you, guys. I'll take some close-up photos and I'll catch up with you guys soon. Bye.